hello everyone thank you guys for tuning in to our channel today today's video request is how to create a realistic planner cover in canva so let's go ahead and do it all right if you have specific dimensions in mind of or how big you'd like your design to be then click on custom size and put your desired dimensions and choose your desired unit over here and click on create new design. As for me, I'm going to go to the create a design button and I'm going to look for a design format that's um, A4 type or maybe A5 would be okay. Just a very small one. So A5 document that is 14 by 8, 14.8 by 21 centimeters. Let's click that. That's the size I want to create for today's video. And here we are on the Canva editor. You'll notice that the side panel here automatically displays some templates. So feel free to choose any templates you want to use. As for me, I'm going to try to create one from scratch today, and we're going to try to create a realistic planner cover. So I'm going to go to Elements, and I'm going to look for photo elements that I can use as our cover over here. So I'd like to look for corkboard, for example, and go to Photos. And I'd like to use... Um, this pattern over here. Most of these are Canva Pro elements, so if you just want to use free ones, then we can do that. I'm just going to go to the filter button and check the checkbox for free. So we can choose from free photo elements here. How about I change it to cardboard? Yeah, this is something I like better. Okay, I'm going to set this as my background now, so I'm going to right click and set image as background. All right, now we're going to try to add some elements here. I'm going to be using photo elements today instead of graphic elements because graphic elements look cartoony. While we can find realistic photos from the photos category. So I'm going to search here, paper. I'm going to try to look for a ripped paper. Just like this one. Going to position it properly, just like that. And let's scroll down to try to see if we still have other options. Let's try to filter out the search results into cutouts only. And here we go. I guess we don't have a better alternative to this one, so maybe we're going to stick with this. Now I'd like to add flowers. Dried flowers would be realistic enough because I think they're beautiful designs when it comes to scrapbooking. So dried flowers, let's try to see what we can find. But I think we can also find some realistic dried flowers on the graphics category. So let's try that. Okay, and here we are. So let's try to decorate our journal or our planner with these realistic graphic elements. Like that. And let's try to add a flower here because I think it's looking pretty lonely. Perhaps we can make this smaller. Put this here and send it to the back position to back. Okay, I just would like to tilt it a bit. Yeah, something like that. Then perhaps we can add this one. And then we're going to look for um, a washi tape. 
So let's type that here. I'd like to look for realistic ones, so let's give them a try. Perhaps I'll change the keyword to tape. Okay, and here we are. Perhaps this one's more realistic, but unfortunately it can hardly be seen, but I guess it's okay. Hmm, perhaps that should be fine, or maybe we could try to replace it with this one. And maybe we could adjust its transparency. Yep, I think that's much better. Now we're going to try to add a text element over here. So I'm going to go to text and add a text box. And I'm going to type in here my in all capital letters. And I'd like to change it to a handwriting font style. And I'm going to add a new one. I can just also press T on my keyboard to automatically add a text box. And this time I'd like this text to be cursive. I can't really access the um the my text here, so I'm going to send our journal text to the back. Okay, there. I just want to make sure that everything is properly centered. And I'm going to add a few details. All right, now we have our realistic planner cover created right here in Canva. This isn't the best looking design, but yeah, that's how you can create a realistic planner cover. Keep on designing yours until you're happy with it. And once you're done, you can finally download it. Go to the share button above, click on download, Select your preferred file type here. Make sure to adjust other download settings here according to your preferences and click on download. And you're done. That's it. That's how you create a realistic planner cover in Canva. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. You have a great day.